to the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Brothers and sisters, if you see men rise as if Satan does not exist, it's, not, it's because they have accessed a mystery that immunes them this is what i'm teaching you tonight but to refuse that this does not exist is the beginning of deception beginning of deception the western world has been cheated in this area in a very big way because of advancement in medicine and advancement in all of these things oh they leave it to all the spiritists and the, as the, the transcendental meditators. And all of them come. The nation of America, listen, their fathers understood this mystery. They walked in power. And when Satan found out that that whole generation had covenanted their lives to God, he left them and started growing with their children. He said, let's leave the fathers to die in the crusade ground. And he started growing with the children. And all the children came up with all kinds of things, you know. I mean, there's, if, if you are sick right now, you cough, ambulance is coming in five minutes. And so they don't believe it now. Look at the disaster happening in the Western world. Where people can kill themselves on YouTube. Shoot their children. Effects. They laughed at us in Africa before. That we are the ones who used to behave like that. You carry arrows. Now they have a reprobate mind. A generation successfully captured by hell. A cause is a mystery. A very deep mystery. Hallelujah. How many beautiful ladies do you know? Beautiful, godly, God-fearing. The painful part is nobody has even come to say, Kai, my dear, you know you are a pretty lady. It's not a lie. You know what I'm saying. It's not a lie. How many parents went to all kinds of rivers and were dipped how many times to be pregnant? There is a system in the kingdom for exemption. But the first key is to acknowledge that there is such a reality on earth. A lot of people don't believe causes are real. It's foolish to believe sickness is real and poverty is real and not believe causes are real. The same boss brought all of them. How you know you are free from causes is that you also don't fall sick and you don't get poor. If you can still get poor as a believer, then make no mistakes to say a cause cannot come. Are you getting what I'm saying? If as a believer I say, are you born again? Yes. Are you blessed? No. I'm poor. They say, okay, it's okay. With time it will change. Are you a believer? Yes. Are you sick? Oh, very sick. Are you a believer? Yes. Is there a manipulation of that? No, 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 no. no. Are we not mocking ourselves? What is the difference between sickness, poverty, and causes? If we do not get this we will destroy ourselves every time i look at this next generation of koinonia our little ones do you know what i tell myself we have to run fast and correct everything that our parents could not correct in our lives before our children come correct it fast i look at these dear ones and i'm imagining a time that they will now start growing and all of a sudden they will become victims our parents were sincere people but they didn't know the way out so many of us we are in the middle of two generations correcting the errors of the father and setting precedence for a new generation is worth enduring 
are you hearing what i'm saying hear me you are you are hearing this message tonight if you are a lady here as you are hearing it just just know that you are you are hearing it not just for yourself but you are hearing it for a generation you ignore what i'm saying it will pain you to watch your children go through this and you will remember you had a chance to be free no. i cannot allow my children go through this let me suffer it let me go through it no matter what it will cost me if i go through the delay let it be that is me that went through for them so that these dear ones will move forward if i go through the poverty let it be that is me that will suffer it but not that i will bring a child and watch your child die like a chicken and turn and say father what did i do wrong and you say me too that's how i saw it everybody shout no way How many students do very well? Secondary school, brilliant people. Wayek, nine papers. They step into the university and all of a sudden, 100 level result, nine Fs. You think they are dull. They are conducting tutorials. But they enter the exam hall. They only remember in the night when the exam has finished. It's not everybody who is lazy. Let me tell you. What of recurrent sicknesses? There are people today, there is no month they don't fall sick. Go to the hospital, they will tell you nothing is wrong. Now the doctors are wiser. Thank God for spiritual people becoming doctors. They don't waste time again. The moment they diagnose you, they see that you have come once, twice. They'll say, do you know what? Find any available crusade and run quickly. Go to the front early and stand there and trust God to wipe your tears. That's why we need more spiritual people getting into our hospitals so that they will not allow people to die like chickens i look forward to times where god will give men and women of power the moment you are a midwife helping a woman give birth and the baby is not coming out you detect by the spirit this is witchcraft right there shagato sotolabaya have that lady and all of a sudden you find out that that woman gives birth koinonia today is not rising because there are no demons let me tell you make no mistakes only god knows how many powers try to kill me every day i told you all the time only god knows how many people take my names to shrines oh it has never happened in israel there was a woman called the widow of Nain what killed her husband she had only one child one child the husband now died the child now died on her way going jesus saw and said no this is not the issue of burial i need to change something here there are families you will see them in a community 32 people only one percent of them are men and all the men are mad men they are not they are, their brains are not even in place again madman is a woman that pays the school fees of children is a woman that drives car is a woman that builds a house is a woman that does everything all the men become useless you see them playing draft in the morning and laughing and taking beer it's a cause There are families with a cause where the children never see their grandparents either they are in exile or they die please tonight you are going to offer yourself as a living sacrifice that will change this you you will have to be a wicked person if you allow your children go through this thing i'm telling you what of poverty what of poverty there are many people who went to harvard came back anything they start die the day you want to start importing it that's when government banned it why was it exactly others have finished making their money just when you were about to start what of people in ministry they think it's normal everybody they raise disappoints them there is a spirit 
they raise so many men but they disappoint them there is no helper a man will be 30 years in ministry who has become a father in the faith you should have people to you should not beg for bread again but there is no man you call for help there is nobody some of you see some of these women walking on the street 71 years carrying firewood where are the children she gave birth to where are they one is in prison the other one is security somewhere and they are about to throw him out you find families where a lady has seven children from seven different men seven different men she honestly does not even know which one is the husband of which because a madman will just rape her somewhere and sometimes she can even be coming back from the house of god it's a programming it looks like a coincidence what kind of coincidence keeps happening you start business you crash you always lose money you always lose joy you always lose peace you always run into trouble they are chasing a thief the moment they pass you that's when police will say from this place pack all of them you were innocent it's a programming you reign you ancient zion king kadosh kadosh you were mighty on your own Break forth down fountains of the deep, and we have you are mighty on your throne. Listen, help me. How can a man lose a job in 1999 until now he has not gotten a job? Is it that dull? see let me tell you something sit down if you can we'll soon stand up and pray listen listen to me when you study the laws of mechanics sir isaac newton postulated a law we call it the first law of mechanics and this is what it states that everybody continues in its uniform motion or a static state right it remains there until compelled by an external force to act otherwise through the law of inertia that if i leave this in one place theoretically speaking thank you i should come and find it in one place after a long time that's how the, your destiny will be if you sit down and you are wishing it will remain like that the only thing that will be changing is your age but your condition will remain the same how about men have you seen families where the men never leave their parents homes there is such a thing they bring their wife all the cousins and their wives to their father's house you see that the house they are staying was the grandfather's house the guy works in nmpc but cannot rent a good house you ask him why you say okay i'll do something about it 45 years he's still in his father's house they share the parlor they compartmentalize the kitchen if you buy your first car at 50 years is that a testimony no you build a house at 55 is that a testimony Take seriously what I'm saying. What of ministries? There are churches that this cause of poverty has still landed even on the ministers. You will see a church with members but prosperity zero. When it comes to finances, you will never see increase in that area. But tonight, God put this body in my heart. 
because it's time for somebody's lifting yes it is yes it is yes it is barrenness every look at me i want to tell you something now and please listen we are here to help ourselves but let me give you an information every case of barrenness is spiritual e-v-e-r-y every case of barrenness is spiritual let me repeat it every case of barrenness is spiritual so says the bible the remedy for every case of barrenness was spiritual and God opened the womb of Rachel and God opened the womb of Leah and God shut the womb of a Milka David's wife every so that when some things happen to you you don't waste time you know where to go for to look for help quickly quickly recurrent deaths I remember one lady I can't remember um, who now but there used to be a lady I remember the story faintly now that was dedicated to snakes literally snakes and the way snake molds this molting it happens to her physically the outer skin begins to you know swell like peel I'm not talking of all just skin irritation literally like a snake molting it's good to marry from the house of God because the job has been done you hear what I'm saying it's a good advice I'm telling you no matter what is pursuing you bring it to the house of God the house of God is a factory where true solution is provided when the devil wants to rubbish you he makes you successful and then he goes to connect you with a very wrong person and your life begins to know life a cause causeless shall not stand self-inflicted causes are results of ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and disobedience ignorance and and disobedience self-inflicted causes are products of ignorance and disobedience no matter how born again you are if you don't tithe your heavens are closed that for sure whatever you think about the situation notwithstanding seeing then that these realities are true what provision is in the kingdom to bail men out and exempt them i'm going to show you the system in the kingdom designed to set men free ready psalms 102 verse 13 is a mystery very few people understand please give us psalms 1 or 2 verse 13 read it if you're a child of god one two read three things mercy time favor mercy time favor thou shall arise and have mercy upon zion for the time to favor her even the set time the kairos moment the opportune time is come because of that arise and have mercy let me tell you something about the mercy of god the mercy of god is not an attribute for sinners the salvation of sinners only passed through the mystery of mercy but mercy is more than more than a provision just for sinners to experience salvation you have to understand this the mercy of God is part of the attributes of his person the mercy of God is a system a system in the kingdom 
where guilty people are made free the mercy of God is a system is a provision in his wisdom his infinite wisdom he factored in a provision although righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne but in his dealings with man he introduced a mystery let me tell you something about mercy look up mercy only works for people who are in time mercy cannot work in eternity <sighs> otherwise satan will not be where he is that's why he says his mercies are new every he ties time to the operation of mercy meaning whenever just like he said as far as the earth remains so when you can see the morning the mercy of god is valid mercy mercy is the attribute of god listen that provokes his help to your life regardless of your satisfying the condition for it or not mercy is a powerful attribute that is the ancient secret that the nation of israel used to turn around battles when they sinned against god god gave them over to their enemies and every time a prophet would intercept there was an enchantment they would have to chant something you are good and your mercy it was not a song it was an invocation every time they started singing that song for he is good and his mercy see how many times the psalmist uses it the psalmist was a benefactor of the mercy of god did everything wrong but every time God will want to come in, he will remind him. The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. The Bible tells us that the Lord's mercy can triumph. Come on now. That the Lord's mercy can triumph over judgment. So when I get to the end of my road, I know that I am deserving of everything should happen. That should happen. Yes! My father sacrificed to idols. Yes, my carelessness. I am not a titer. I am qualified for financial bankruptcy. The last card, I danced, it did not work. I prayed, it did not work. The attribute for bailout is invoking the mercy of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. good and your mercy is forever Hallelujah. Samson lost his strength to Delilah the Bible says his eyes were plucked the symbol of light in his life and the mystery that surrounded his power his hair shoven completely and they took him the Bible says they took him to their temple to make mockery of God. Everything was over. But that Samson leaned there, they didn't watch the hair grow. He said, oh Lord. He cried for mercy. And the moment he did that, see, there is one prayer God cannot say no to. If you have never been confident of a prayer that will be answered, try the prayer of mercy. Invoke mercy. Lord, I know I am undeserving of this, but I invoke your mercy. It is of the Lord's mercy. Listen, it is of the Lord's mercy, meaning my lifetime is too fast for me to not have made a mistake but it is of the Lord's mercy somewhere in my work he creates a system a provision see let me tell you it is on grounds of this that the Bible can say rejoice not over me my enemies for when you think ah there was a time his car now had an accident will he ever rise again don't go ah. the worst witchcraft in your life is to stop you from receiving God's mercy you are finished mercy and Samson pushed 
and the Bible says he killed more people at his death than his lifetime what of blind Bartimaeus thou son of David hold on he never said heal me the Bible says God will give us the desires of our heart I thought it would be thou son of David heal me he said thou son of David have mercy mercy is an open check and God had to come he left and came thou son of David there were two condemned criminals on the cross condemned once you hang on that cross it's over for you two condemned criminals one was talking nonsense like many people are still doing their quarter to finish in life and they are still making noise and the other one provoked his mercy and he said this day today not tomorrow today you will be with me in paradise are we together listen the mercy of god is an attribute you need in your life it's not for sinners the mercy of God was designed in your work with him to remedy for your limitations. There is such a thing as limitation. If I tell you every anointing that is in my life is just because of prayer and fasting, I will be lying. No. I have mastered the art of God's mercy. Years ago, during a pastor's, a pastor's conference, the ministers were lying down and praying and the minister who was testifying this said he went to lie down close to Papa Deboe to hear the prayer he was praying and he said for over two or three hours all Papa Deboe was saying was mercy mercy Lord you would think he stole church money he knew he understood to pastor millions of people you don't just need anointing you need mercy mercy Jesus met a woman by the well. When he met that woman by the well, they started a conversation. Number one, that woman was a prostitute. Correct? And then because of that, more the disciples, oh, no, 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 don't come and corrupt Jesus. You are a bad woman. And Jesus started talking with her. And she started touching his mercy. And at the end of it, that woman ran and said, come and see the man who has told me what I have done mercy mercy vetoes everything in your life and when the door settles you are still standing that's why you see those who know this when people are dancing and saying the power of my might has given me this oh this great ministry koinonia apostle what wisdom you are such an anointed man i just laugh and look at them you need to hear my prayer in the secret place the mercy of god when David one day the Bible says when kings go for war David was meandering his balcony correct and he looked at somebody's wife she was bathing and from the altitude he could see her nakedness and he desired her the Bible says he sent and they fetched that woman and they came he now got a man's wife pregnant and ordered that they go and call Uriah in the heat of war not minding whether the nation of israel would die they carried uriah and brought uriah uriah said my king i'm here he says i just wanted you to come and have you seen your wife recently uriah says, ah, have you forgotten the ordinances of israel i should be there in the heat of battle and he got angry and all he did listen was to write a letter a man's own death sentence and give him to the battle and the painful part is that he died question what was the difference between Cain and David Cain killed Abel blood started crying meaning when David killed Uriah blood should be crying correct David went wept 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 when all of that happened you would think that after the, the child died he will now tell the wife he said okay go I will marry you again who was the mother of Solomon he did it again 
Correct? Is David that will write his sins and ask them to sing it as a song? If it had not been the Lord by my side, now may Israel say, if it had not been the Lord, he will ask the nation of Israel to chorus for his mercy shall endure ever faithful, ever sure. And they will begin to sing it. God want to destroy David. David would just find, he knew how to just tie God down. And God said, this is a man after my own heart. A man that understands, not even Moses was called a man after his heart. Mercy. This is what our families need. This is what we need. This is what many ministries need. This is what many businesses need. Let me tell you something. We are rounding up. There is a system to be a recipient of God's mercy. Number one, a broken and a contrite heart. Write it down. Arrogant people are never qualified to be the benefactors of God's mercy. For as long as you think by yourself and in your strength you are qualified and deserving, you will never have it. Great is your mercy towards me. Your loving kindness towards me. Your tender mercy I see day after day. forefathers did not do anything you are a joker but the mercy of God has a way of exempting you the mercy of God has a way of exempting you from the rubbish and the nonsense that should be your lot the mercy of God can change any negative prophecy over any man's life regardless of what was seen about you a particular prophet now came and met David correct and then started to speak to him in parables there was a certain man who had a vineyard and somebody somebody came and grabbed the vineyard and David said who is that was angry say you are the one who watch this do you know David was supposed to die we have a series on mercy that will deal with I don't want to go there but do you know when you read that scripture when David asked for mercy God said that death had been taken from him David would have died David would have died the wages of sin is not sickness the wages of sin is death but mercy but mercy but mercy there are some of you here legally you are supposed to be failures in life so based on that concoction those who knew you had the gods to even prophesy it and what they were saying is right but mercy when you introduce mercy to the equation calculation changes everything changes so a murderer like Moses could now become a deliverer by the mercy and the grace of God he said it is of the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed let me tell you one of the greatest ways to break causes hear me one of the greatest ways to end causes is to invoke the mercy of God the mercy of God the mercy of God over your life 
invoke the mercy of God over the works of your hands the moment even as human beings if somebody tells you sorry if I look at you now come and make up I look at you and I say look you know you did this and I'm supposed to deal with you and all of a sudden you kneel down and say sir I am sorry do you not know that this position paralyzes me at once I look at you and say ah, I hate you but you have done something now that on a very good day what I plan to do for you I would have dealt with you I would have humiliated you I would have made sure your career were miserable but mercy and the terrible thing about all the well not terrible in righteousness about mercy is that every time mercy is invoked it not only solves the current problem it promotes you mercy will always lift mercy will always lift it will not just take away the current predicament but it will lift you and take you higher higher by the mercy and the grace of God by the mercy and by the grace of God so it says thou shall arise and have mercy upon Joshua Selman upon Koinonia for the time the time the Lord wants to lift me but there are certain levels of light and illumination I do not yet know and if I'm to wait until I know all those things I may never rise so he introduces his mercy and I rise to realms that even me I know that is beyond my level of understanding the mercy of God you will find yourself in the company of people you know your age and your level in life should not bring you their skills brought them but the mercy of God took you there. As we travel around, I have seen the honor of God by the grace of God and it never stops humbling me. When I see the things that people do on account of their perception of the grace of God upon my life. Sometimes I stand by the mirror and I look. I say, except for the mercy of God. Who dash monkey banana? who really dash monkey banana you see it's not false humility it's an acknowledgement of truth the mercy of God you are there boasting about being an entrepreneur and you don't have up to 100,000 in your account you better realize that there is a dimension of the mercy of God in this equation that can arise and lift you are you hearing what i'm saying there is a dimension in ministry i believe in principles i teach principles here but let me tell you the truth there are many gaps in this equation to success that we are still learning how it works there are still gaps and one thing i've learned is that those gaps are provisions that only god can fill that's where his mercy comes in and he amplifies and multiplies little things and your life becomes a sign and a wonder because I have seen women who never trained their children the children eight children all of them became great they got born again five are pastors all of them are millionaires they love God they are wonderful people walking in the ways of God but the woman and her husband don't know jack about parenting that one is not wisdom again let the wise man not glory in his wisdom let the strong man not glory in his strength the bible says but let him that glory at glory in this that he understand it and knoweth me when you know him you know he's full of compassion and mercy i will worship him forever Love him forever because this God is too good. I will worship him forever. Love him forever because this God is too good. See, way before I learned certain principles, I knew now I was already getting their results. 
when I learned the principle, I knew that truly favor and the mercy of God really qualifies the unqualified. I have seen levels of breakthrough in my life that happened before I knew the principles that brought them. Yes, this is true. Way before I understood principles of church growth and increase, I had been seeing the hand of God. And it's, there is a science to growth. If you don't know it, it should not happen. But mercy, mercy, mercy. Tonight we are going to invoke mercy upon our lives, upon our families, and take away this air of pride that makes you think I have to marry because I'm beautiful. I think I'm intelligent. I should be a millionaire by now. The pride of men is the reason why they never get qualified for mercy. One of the most powerful mysteries of exemption against causes, against yokes. Listen, I've seen people, eh, Jimmy, they are not even born again yet, but sincerely, you know, they call it in house of Farin Jimmy. You've seen that happen? They take their names to the Habalists and the Habalists will reject it and they are not born again. They don't love God. They don't know him. But their hearts are so sincere. Somehow they know there is a God out there and whoever it is, they are grateful to him. And God just protects them. Regardless of the fact that they are not prayerful, their hearts are wicked, yet God protects them. I've seen drunkards on the road that would drink to stupor and enter their car and drive safely back home. They never fear death. And somehow you even pray and say you're a wicked man. God will deal with you. But you'll find out that 10 years that guy is still drowsing his way in this world and not dead. They never fear anything. They hear that there is crisis. Bomb will explode where you know they are. In the night you still see him back. Safe and hale and hearty. You didn't die and he laughs. That guy doesn't take communion. That guy has never attended prayer meeting. That guy has never attended miracle service. He doesn't even know what his genotype is. Honestly, he doesn't know whether he's sick or healthy. All he knows is that his heart is a sincere heart and it cries out to God. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing in it. Destroy it not, for there is a blessing. This is what has kept some of our parents home. Because you know that if it's based on keeping the principles of the kingdom, they would have died since. It would have, it would have swallowed them. If the Lord had not been by my side, now may Israel say. I think of what men would have done to me. When I didn't know the principles of restoration. When I didn't know the principles of long life. I imagine what would have happened and I wonder how many things I do not know now that I will know in the future how I walk in the midst of the valley of the shadow of death yet his mercy keeps me if all else fail invoke his mercy I give you a formula if all else fails invoke his mercy you have submitted names for prayer requests and nothing has happened lord mercy for my family they are all sinners mercy for my family mercy for this yoke of darkness that is destroying men nobody in my family is making it and on legal basis the devil has his hold upon them and if you try to talk to them the painful part is they won't listen to you because the God of this system has blinded their minds but you can invoke mercy invoke mercy invoke mercy are you blessed tonight? I want you to sing for me the stanza of that song. Himela, Himela, Okaka, help me. Oh, yeah, who knows the stanza? Himela, Himela, is the Trust that stanza. The stanza. 
closer of the song. That's what I really want to hear. When I think upon your goodness and your faithfulness each day, I'm convinced it's not because I am worthy. Oh, hallelujah. To receive the kind of love that you give.
Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mercy is a weapon. And you are about to use it now. Ha. And he showed me Joshua the high priest. Standing before the Lord. And the accuser came before him. Attempting to rail accusations. And he said, is this not a reed that I have taken out of fire? And he said, the Lord rebuke you. Listen. The mercy of God is a weapon. You can use it and say, Satan, I know you are supposed to destroy me. But what about this? I present to you the mercy of God. I present to you the blood of the eternal covenant. I present to you the advocacy of Jesus at the right hand of the Father, standing and speaking. I present to you the sinless blood. I present to you Calvary. Lift your voice. Invoke mercy. Invoke mercy. Every voice. The voice of mercy. I know I've not been a tighter. You are authorized to destroy me. But see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. When I see the blood. You should be destroyed. But the blood will speak. Hear me. You live the wayward life. And all kinds of things happen. And the earth cries against you. But when I see the blood. When I see the blood. You were involved in all kinds of blood covenants and fraternities in ignorance. But now that you are in Christ, when I see the blood, lift up your voice and plead the blood. Hey! Invoke mercy. Come on now. Invoke mercy. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says blotting out every handwriting. There are handwritings. There are records kept in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not live long. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not be blessed. There are records in the realm of the spirit that testify that you should not have any child again. The devil says you wasted all your children and all of them have gone. There is a record in the realm of the spirit that says you have misused all the opportunities that you were given. But tonight, plead the blood. It can blot it out. Come on now. It can blot it out. It can blot it out. It can blot out. It can blot out. It can blot out. Take it, 
is not moving it should not move but now that you have invoked mercy it makes the cause causeless that means it should not come again are we together you stole money help them please and all of that you destroyed another person's destiny but now that you are in Christ what of the blood he showed me Joshua the high priest Please take seriously. This is what I did for my own life. Oh, let me tell you. For we rise to our access to mysteries in the kingdom. I want to pray for you. But we're going to pray one more prayer point. Hear me. The Bible says the scripture we started in. Give us that scripture again, Lamentations. Five verse seven. Please quickly. We want to pray and then we'll round up. Lamentations, chapter five, verse seven. Our fathers have seen and are not, and we have borne their iniquities. But now, if I appropriate the revelation that I've been called out of every tribe, out of every tongue, out of every nation, I can't go to hell because I, I was born in Kogi. Oh, I was born in Plateau State. I did ask them to do witchcraft. And now that they have done it, if the land is cursed, I exempt myself. I can't be a victim of another man's wickedness. Listen, I'd like you to pray with all your heart and say, I begin a new order. A new order. Dissociated from the past. Alienated from witchcraft and causes and yokes by the blood of the eternal covenant. Why not are you praying? Alienated every biological deformity, every genetic disease, pray every yoke that made you SS, that made you AS, that gave you hepatitis. Hey, 
Lift your hands, I want to pray for you. This is our year of triumph. Now, thanks be to God who causes us always to triumph. I want to pray for you. Listen, let me tell you. If God be God, everything that you're carrying, I don't care whether it's self-inflicted. You have invoked the blood. The blood provokes the compassion of the Christ. His advocacy at the throne of the Father does not happen automatically. It happens in response to an incense sent from the earth. The same way his high priestly ministry, the Bible says is in the order of Melchizedek. Melchizedek did not speak until he had an encounter with Abraham and he gave him a tenth of all. I want to pray for you now because there are lives and destinies under the yoke of witchcraft. Koinonia remains an uncomfortable place for them until it shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be lifted from off your neck and the yoke from off your shoulder and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Yes. I stretch my hands right now. Hear me? I'm hearing in my spirit household wickedness and the fire of God is falling upon all who are victims of that. I stretch my hands right now. Let it be. Shabbos Kupadabash. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the Living God. Inside, outside, I stretch my hands. Be free right now. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus, be free right now from activities of witchcraft. Hallelujah. Demonic activities. Strangers coming to you in the night to sleep with you. Men, women, animals, and all kinds of things. Coming to destroy you, plant rubbish in your body. I pray right now, in the name of Jesus, anyone who is a victim of every kind of manipulation in dreams, caused as a result of ancestry, right now in the name of Jesus, I command freedom, I command liberty, I command freedom, I command liberty. The blood speaks right now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ he said the earth is caused for your sake he says with the sweat of your brows shall you eat but the Bible says in Galatians chapter 3 verse 29 he says and if he be Christ's then are ye Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. I want to speak and set you free. There is a cause of hardship. Many people are victims of this cause. Hardship has nothing to do with poverty. Listen carefully. Many people here, you are standing representing your families as I pray. And right now in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, the son of the living God, I stretch my hands right now. I command that yoke be taken from off your shoulder. Help them please. Be taken from off your shoulders. Be taken from off your shoulders. Right now in the name of Jesus, I command that cause of hardship. Be taken from off your shoulders. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me, I declare to you, a dimension of ease you have never seen in your life step into it right now in the name of Jesus Christ every yoke of disfavor bad luck that looms around the life of men and women here 
so that you never rise is like a veil on your face and anyone who sees you walks against you I command that veil be taken off right now be taken off right now be taken off right now in the name of Jesus Christ and Cain said my punishment is too great he said I have become a fugitive and a vagabond he said all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me all who see me will slay me whether they are strangers something upon me makes all who see me to slay me any mark any mark upon your life upon your business upon your ministry that keeps attracting woes keeps attracting scandals keep attracting negativism right now in the name of jesus that might be blotted forever be blotted forever be blotted forever any strange sickness in your body through your blood that came from ancestry genotypes ss jacatosia as there's no such reality in the realm of the spirit that provision does not exist is a manipulation from the second heavens altering the genetics of men but right now in the name of jesus every blood related issue passed to you by covenant i blot it out of your body right now i blot it out right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah the classic sign of courses and yokes is the presence of patterns you usually are not the first to experience that but i want to prophesy right now i don't know what patterns you have seen around your life you have seen around your finances you have seen around your work with god you are up today down tomorrow you are serious today on serious tomorrow you love the lord today you love something else tomorrow your ministry rises today crashes tomorrow your finances is up today and is blown like the wind in the name of jesus the bible says every house is built by some man but god is the builder therefore i decree and declare that any pattern any spiritual construction that was built by an agency other than the christ in the name that is above all names i command a tearing down and a rebuilding now 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 to the realm of the spirit whatever should have happened to your life by now for good but because of the presence of these embargoes there are dimensions you should have entered in Christ there are levels of growth levels of advancement and influence and wisdom and access that you should have been a custodian of by grace and for whatever reason certain objections have risen in the realm of the spirit to stop you in the name of jesus christ i provoke restoration right now 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 i pray over your life and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and the Bible says Elijah ran on barefoot and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Jesus. I want to speak speed in your life 
I don't know what tied you down. By now, according to the program of God for you, you should have entered certain levels. You should have been the mother of four children now, but you are yet to have one. Therefore, I command speed. Step into it right now. In the name of Jesus, I command speed. Speed of accomplishment. Speed of accomplishment. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The last prayer point I want to pray for you. For there is an unction that can come on a man. There is an anointing that can produce an outcome that is not available in the earth. There is an anointing that is called the breaker anointing. The yoke destroying. There is such a provision in the kingdom to not only be set free but to be a possessor of a spiritual substance that is capable of causing everyone within the influence of your grace to come under the influence of the liberty that you possess is an anointing there is a provision in the dealings of God with men where men can carry atmospheres that have prophetic implication to all those who come within the circumference of that atmosphere you will not have the time to pray for everybody but you can carry a climate I want to release a grace and unction upon your life that you will go back home you will go back to regions you will go back to places you will enter your room there are physical territories that are caused but like Mara the water you will pick it and in the name of Jesus you will change that situation like the listen 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 the Bible says that the prophets were eating and they said there is death in this food and he said bring me flour and he put it and said go ahead and eat there is an ability there is an unction that can fetter the plants of darkness in the name of Jesus wherever you are like a mantle may that anointing come upon your life right now Soto Sota Lekre Tosketerika a breaker anointing the grace and the unction carry the fire carry the grace carry the unction command deliverance make environments cost free in the name of Jesus Your presence in your home, your presence in your office, your presence in your ministry, sustain an ability to nullify ordinances, nullify yokes and causes and enchantment. Surely they shall gather, but because their gathering is not of God, there is a substance you possess that will disengage everything that is of God. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. following us from any nation of the world listen carefully he says ye must be born again ye must be born again salvation hear me please salvation is the most trusted bailout from every cause and every yoke according to scripture it provides a system where men can be translated from the kingdom of darkness 
into the kingdom of light God's dear son a system where men can exchange death for his life and you are here standing listening to me everywhere inside and outside you have never truly made this commitment for Jesus Christ you may be a pastor you may be an elder and then there are others here at one time you were serious with God but for whatever reason your life went haywire and as it is right now you know that you need a restoration you need to run back to Jesus wherever you are for time's sake our time is gone please everyone stand in honor of this altar call I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain as I count one to five this is a serious business I want you to come out right now one everywhere inside and outside quickly please quickly clear the way for them two please run 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 like there's fire on the mountain run like your destiny depends on this decision three are you running those coming from outside don't sit back and allow anyone tell you no 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 it's, it's just a little issue now is the day of salvation now is the day of salvation the bible says today if you hear his voice harden not harden not your heart as they did in the provocation in the wilderness four i still believe there are still people outside rush and join us now quickly rush and join us quickly rush and join us quickly i have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. I have decided to follow Jesus, no turning back, no turning back. I want to salute all of you. Young man, look at me. Stand up. Kai. There is a dangerous spirit that I'm seeing on this guy. Can you just lay your hand on him, Jimmy? Just on his back. I command that devil, you must go now. Ah, I looked at him and I started seeing, I saw a wild animal like a lion. Before I pray for you, look at this. Look at this. This guy gently came here. Look at this. I saw a wild animal, a wild spirit. Salvation is powerful. Look at this. Now you come and marry him. You see what I'm saying now? I'm not saying he's a bad guy. This guy may not even know why his life is haywire. Anger problems. That's why men slap and beat their wives and say sorry later and still do it. Look at how many men are holding him. Look at this. I command you now. Let him go. In the name of Jesus, I bring upon you the victory of Christ. Mm. For the light shines in darkness, and darkness comprehended it not. Be set free. Every legal access against you, the blood speaks now out of him and never return this is by mercy and by grace you go and never return i tell you the breakthrough this guy's family will have from this night he's not it's not just him he's representing something stand up look at him look at the same person that five people could not hold come let me lead you listen when you stand to pray huh my friend my sister when you stand to pray you pray with all your heart and you pray it sincerely now all of you standing in front say after me from the dead don't be ashamed my brother you don't have to cry you're a nice person this is koinonia all of you say after me help the little ones let them be sure of what they are saying they are laughing they may not know what they are saying but guide them and let them be serious because it means a lot to god say after me lord jesus you are not reciting a poem meaning from the depth of your heart say Lord Jesus this night 
I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me I believe that you shed your blood for my sin right now I accept your lordship over my life I receive the gift of righteousness and I declare that I am a child of God I'm born again spirit of the living God come upon my life make me a sign and a wonder I declare that the power of sin the flesh and Satan is broken over my life forever in Jesus name amen I stretch my hands upon you I declare your sins forgiven I declare in the name of Jesus that every access the devil has over your life is gone by the blood the Lord gives you a new beginning from today you rise like an edifice forward ever and backward never in the name of Jesus amen and amen now I want you to follow a gentleman waving his hands just turn and follow them they will give you a few details they'll follow you up and please comply with them very quickly the Lord... dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye Pray, pray, pray for your destiny. Salas kade bas kana kata branda kete katos. Kete branda kata pakotos koto pray kete kene kata. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.